Hello everyone, this is Maina from Civil Center and today in this video we will show you how to make a sloped RCC footing in the Tecla Structure software and you can work on this straight away even if you are a beginner in the software. So all of our videos are in this, that particular level and you can like and subscribe to our channel at the end of this video if you like this because it really helps our team a lot. Thanks and continue watching. So uh, first of all, let's. Uh, this is a new file, so let's go to concrete. This is open by default, and we have opened with uh, you know Indian uh, course. So you can open with any other course. So let's just go with default uh, concrete columns here. Default concrete columns. We can apply. Just have applied this one single column. We click on escape and then left click on the screen. And after uh, having done that, uh, we'll just do. Uh, this footing and normal pad footing will we can select and you can see yeah, I will change the dimensions when I'm going to do the default dimensions and I'm going to apply the footing here like this so I'm going to uh, create a slope footing in this uh, case so for example uh, for creating a slope footing uh, we have we can take uh, this uh, go to the option of edit and go to the option of chamfer so just double click on it before starting you can uh, have this uh, edge selected only one type of edge selected make sure to do this as a uh, be belt the end one and end two can be straight and you can uh, now change this dimension so let, let, let us suppose give the here uh, 280 and here I'll give 280 and uh, uh, the th choice is very simple you just have to select this and the first click and then the second click uh, so again select this uh, select a little bit carefully select this and then the uh, first click and then the second click and again again uh, select this first click and then the second click and then if you rotate this first you, uh, press ctrl plus r I place it here and this is my left mouse button i'll just rotate this very comfortably again i select chamfer select the object and then select this and select this so after having done that just click on escape uh, two times and then left click and then redraw view so the chamfer has been done but it is not it is not showing because of the display properties so double click on your screen and then go to display and then uh, you have this option uh, all the options of you know settings in this you have this option of cuts and edit material just take this and click on apply modify and then okay so just uh, cancel this and now just press ctrl plus r and then take this midpoint and then using the left mouse button you can see this particular uh, combined footing sorry your sloped rcc footing being done so reinforcement you can place normally so now for placing the reinforcement you can press ctrl plus f which is shortcut for the application components you can type here isolated uh, footing so or you can simply go here pad footing pad footing reinforcement and uh, take this reinforcement uh, type you can double click you can if you want to you know change or edit this and edit the raw reinforcement type and everything so suppose you want to have your 75 and here also we have to have 75 and uh, this also we know have a 75 and uh, this particular thing also and the other side also 75 and then uh, these uh, spacing between these two bar parts this is also 75 and this is also 75 so all these are you know by default uh, cover is taken 50 to 75 mm in most cases you can take as per your preference and uh, for the other bars primary bars let's say give, uh, uh, suppose we have this uh, primary bars of ap 500 and uh, you know uh, 8 mm bars uh, main and okay and if 8 mm bars and uh, bending radius is taken by default spacing you can change to 100 and uh, then the same thing with the secondary bar and go with this ATM bars and uh, FE500 then ATM bars and OK and uh, spacing will take as your uh, now the spacing will be the same uh, for both the ends so 200 and then then we are good to go then we'll just uh, modify apply and OK and uh, just click on this and uh, after that you'll be able to uh, get the reinforcement in it so as you can see some uh, reinforcement has you know come up because 
uh, we have applied a slope footing and so generally if you increase the depth of the slope footing that would you know solve this issue if you have this is a 500 tip and uh, if you increase the cover here change the properties and if you change the increase the cover then it will also solve the issue so if apart from the 75 uh, here uh, we can give this uh, 150 and after that let's click on modify and then you can see it has reduced uh, let's uh, reduce it a little bit further also let's uh, see what is the reinforcement arrangement now so for making it transparent press uh, control plus 2 and we'll check so this is a bar which has been given here to you know support as the top reinforcement otherwise almost all the bars are at the uh, bottom so these are the i think these are the laser bars if we this is not you know compulsory the laser bars so let us see laser bars and uh, no and uh, click on modify so now they have there are no laser bars here so only this one instead of 175 if you do and click on modify and now we can check now all the reinforcement just press ctrl plus r then press here and uh, you can see that you know the reinforcement inside the columns press ctrl plus r again shift the axis properly and you can see the reinforcement in the call in the footing in the sloped rcc footing is coming properly